All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So today we are once again gonna be showcasing a Dragon Ball Heroes team, except this time we're gonna be checking out the extreme side of things with the double Super Hearts leads, along with the Extreme Z Awakened Super Saiyan Cumber, uh, Golden Cooler, and Super Fu, and the Token Awakened Robelu and Brainwashed Supreme Kai of Time. Now, in my limited experience with these new teams, I would definitely say that the uh, Super Team is a lot better, but the Extreme Team is still very, very powerful and uh, just as fun to run. So with that said, let's once again jump into the Time Traveler stage of Extreme Super Battle Road and see what these guys can do. Here we go. Okay, so on the first rotation, we have the Golden Cooler, Hearts, and Brainwash Supreme Kai of Time. I think I want to get the Supreme Kai of Time and Robelu together, so we're going to be floating the Cooler. And uh, you know what? Let's actually... Let's actually put the Hearts in the third slot, because there's a lot of attacks there anyways, so it makes sense. And we'll pop and Icarus, because defensively, the extreme team is also... Oh, never mind. I just realized that everyone is stunned, so <laughs> we didn't need any items. Um, it's the Brainwash Supreme Kai of Time. As you can see, she has a, a rare chance of stunning all enemies, which is only 10%, but it does happen every once in a while. Unless somebody else can stun as well. Maybe it's hearts? Um, oh, medium chance of stunning all enemies when all allies are extreme crossover. Okay, so I don't know which one it is. It's either the hearts or the supreme kind of time. Either way, everybody is stunned. So we're good to go. Okay, so let's target uh, Devilman with the... Uh, Kai, and then we'll go for Mummy Man with Golden Cooler, and then for Hearts, we'll go back to Devil Man. Okay, so uh, right now, the Supreme Kai should have about half of her passive. She needs to have the enemy sealed, um, stunned, and also lower attack and defense, I think, to get her full passive, in which case, she's doing a stupid amount of damage but as you can see she's still doing quite a, a good amount of damage right there with two of the four conditions on her passive so yeah she's looking pretty good i like what i see and uh, as far as defense goes we can't really uh test that yet because everyone was stunned uh now we have the cumber the Fu and Hearts. I think I'm a Keep Cumber, even though he's not really getting links. Um, he's still going to be quite strong. And if you link him with the uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gohan, they share five links, I believe. Uh, he's going to be even better, obviously. But let's see what he can do with uh, basically no links activated right now. So let's go for the Mummy guy. We'll kill him. And then uh, hopefully we can finish off. Uh, the invisible, invisible man as well. So we have the Icarus active. And we're taking 6k for the first hit. But after the first hit, everything else became double digits. 3.5 mil for Cumber. There's a crit. Additional super, 3.7. So damage wise, not bad. I've seen him with support and also some more links activated. Definitely get over uh, 5, mil, 5 mil pretty easily. So... That's not like the best showing of his abilities by far, but that was still solid. That was still solid, especially with the additional super. Um, we did some pretty good damage, and the tanking was solid as well. Okay, so now we have Robelu, and... Oh, okay, so she's telling us that a super is being launched in the first slot, which is obviously not great for Robelu having type disadvantage, so I guess we'll have to put the Supreme Kai of Time in the first slot. Actually, she's not good there either. Um, we might have to do Golden Cooler in the first slot. He would actually be our best tank right there, and 
Just to be safe, I'm gonna pop a Princess Snake as well, just for the damage reduction, so... Yeah, Robelu has a great chance of telling us if a enemy super is coming. Um, it's not guaranteed. Obviously, great chance is 70%, but it is still really, really useful when it does get proc'd. And uh, that was definitely a good choice with the Princess Snake and with the higher defense. Um, we still took 330k. <laughs> now, of course, Cooler is not actually a good slot 1 unit. Um, most of these guys aren't good slot 1 units. The only one that's like kind of reliable in slot 1, I would say, is Hearts with the uh, damage reduction. And Cumber is pretty decent too. But um, yeah, defensively, definitely kind of lacking compared to the super side. That's why I say, you know, the super team is definitely a lot better. Definitely a lot better with units like Super Saiyan 4 Gohan, um, you know, uh, Super Saiyan 3 Xeno Goku, even like the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, uh, of course the Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4, it's like there's just a lot of really, really good units. We're getting the Great Ape Transformation for the Cumbert, that's cool. Um, but the Extreme Team is definitely on its way. Uh, I can see it getting a lot better next year with, you know, some more Extreme Z Awakenings for some of the other Extreme guys. For example, uh, Tark Mask King or, uh, you know, like the, what, what's it called? Uh, like the Genie looking Demigra, you know, like a bunch of those older Heroes Extreme units that don't really do much right now. That you can't really run on harder, on harder events. Once those guys all get Extreme Z Awakenings, I definitely see this team being significantly, significantly better. But it seems like recently, they've been focusing a lot more on the super units. It seems like the super units are getting a lot more love, which I guess it's is kind of, you know, normal for Dokkan. But uh, I hope that, you know, in the future, this, this Extreme team gets a bigger buff, you know, gets those Extreme Z Awakenings. But right now, it's still good. It just could be better once again so um yeah i think we have this one final turn of the giant ape transformation then we'll go back to the uh, regular units and i'm hoping to get a super with robelu when an enemy is sealed because she gets a massive massive attack buff in that case and we haven't seen that yet and uh yeah she's she's kind of a monster you know, like, she doesn't really do that much damage just against a undebuffed enemy, but when you have that seal going, she is probably... She might be the hardest-hitting Heroes unit, or at least hardest-hitting Extreme Heroes unit in the game right now. Okay, so right now we need to pop something just to heal up from the super we took in the first stage, or the first fight. Um, I'm going to put hearts in that first slot because uh, he gets the the guard. And let's go. Uh, let's just go for the first guy. Once again, really bad with names. I don't remember these guys' names, but you guys can tell me in the comments if you want to. And uh, yeah, we should be tanking really, really well. Hopefully we get the super hearts transformation at some point as well. Um, we should be able to get it on turn three but actually i don't think we're gonna get to turn three because they didn't count the great ape turns right and it looks like we're gonna kill at least two of them so next turn we should kill the third guy and uh yeah i guess our best chance to get the super hard transformation would be in the last fight hopefully that happens okay um let me see yeah, we'll do it like this. We'll put Robello in the in the middle. Um, we're basically hoping for an additional super. Yeah, additional super from Robello because I don't think Hearts can seal. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure this guy can't seal either. Yeah, he doesn't seal. Okay, so we need the additional super from Robello. That's why the way I built her is. Um, a balance of additional and crit because obviously you still want her to get the crits if possible but if you get the additional super then her second super is going to be a boosted super right and uh, that boosted super once again is incredible ah, 
damn it. Okay, so we got the additional normal. Didn't get the super attack. And with the support, that additional super would have been like probably 8 mil. Yeah, probably 8 mil. I'm just saying that right now because there's a chance we don't actually Oh, we got the we got the active skill. You give me one sec. Let me just make sure I didn't skip. We're not skipping. Good. Uh, here we go, guys. Yeah. Um. What was I saying? Yeah. Just in case we don't get to see Robelu, you know, get her super off with the, you know, additional attack from the sealed enemy. I want you guys to know she's getting, you know, over eight mil attack <laughs> on that turn. And I want to actually, you know, show it to you to prove it, but, you know, there's a chance it just doesn't doesn't happen. Okay, well, at the very least, we do get the super hearts or the ultimate hearts transformation, which uh, I'm still pretty happy about. So no support here, 5.4 mil. And this should do it. There we go. Yo, uh, speaking of super hearts or ultimate hearts, uh, you guys might know at this point that he doesn't have a voice line on Global. And uh, Proton, actually, my boy Proton on Twitter, he emailed Bandai asking about why there was a voice line on JP, but not on Global. And they responded to him, and all they said was, this is not, you know, a mistake. It was intentional. So, <laughs> basically, uh... They shafted global on purpose. We don't know exactly why, but that is that is just how it is. So I, I think I think we're justified in being a little bit upset on the global side about this. But I mean, hopefully at some point that'll change. I don't I don't really know if it's you know in the in the plans or anything like that. But I don't really understand. Like even if it's like a licensing issue, which I would understand. Why don't they just tell us that? You know, why don't they just say it's a licensing issue? Like we can't, you know, release the voice line for global because we don't have the rights to it, you know, or, or whatever. I don't really know, right? Um, it's it, it, it's possible that like they just aren't allowed to. But if that's the case, just say global's not gonna get the voice line because we don't have the rights, and that would have been just fine. I don't think people would have been super upset about that so i think it's kind of dumb um they were just getting like really good with the communication with the player base and then you know uh now it seems like they're regressing a little bit just a little bit okay um let's go for demon king piccolo okay with the foo that should be some good damage right there and then we'll go there with the golden cooler yeah so that's essentially the showcase guys um like i said i really enjoy running this team i think it's a lot of fun i think that you know it's still a really impressive team but i'm not nearly as impressed as i was who 51 damage let's go i'm not nearly as impressed as i was um when I ran the, the the super team, obviously, like that super team is legitimately, I think maybe a top five team in the game. <laughs> I don't know, like it's somewhere in that range. It's obviously not the best team, but it's one of the better teams in the game right now. You know, like it can definitely get you through, I would argue probably like all the red zone stages and uh, I haven't tried it on the Cell Max event. I mean, I'm sure like, if you get lucky enough, it's possible maybe to, you know, kill Cell Max, but that would probably take a lot of good RNG and like a lot of tries. But the point is, it's really, really good. So um, if you guys are going to work on just like one side of things um, or focus on like a super heroes team or an extreme heroes team, super side is definitely the way to go. But the extreme team is on its way. It's definitely getting there. Okay, so we got the Hearts transformation. Uh, do we still have the item active? Uh, I don't remember. I don't remember if we have an item active. And if we don't, then a super would probably kill us. Although Demi King Piccolo is sealed, so we might be fine. 
It might be fine. I don't know. Um, I don't want to risk it, so I'm a pop an Icarus just to be safe. And uh, let's go for Demon King Piccolo with the Robello because he's sealed, so he's, she's going to get that extra buff. And um, let's try to kill... Let's try to kill him with the Supreme Kai of Time. I know she has type disadvantage, but she should still do some good damage, so... I think she might be able to finish him off. Okay, there's a dodge right there. 5.2 mil is actually less than I was expecting. So maybe the rotation where I got uh, got her to get like 8 mil was... Oh yeah, there's no support. There's no support. I think it was with support from the um, tech Supreme Cav time, who gives like 52% attack and defense. And also probably some better links as well. Yeah. I've definitely seen her get 8 mil attacks that... I'm not lying, guys. I promise that that definitely happened. But anyways, let's finish things uh, finish things off here with this one last... Damn it. I messed up. Okay, well, uh, either Fu or Super Hearts will finish things off. And... Um, yeah, that is going to be the showcase, guys. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about the Extreme Heroes team. Uh, obviously, as I said multiple times, it's not as good as the, the Super Side, but it's very good and really fun and can probably still beat like 90 to 95% of the events of the game. And uh, yeah, yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell. I need to get all my Barunga Dragon Balls. That is embarrassing. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna get them all right after this video. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video, sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.